small businesses like salons, you get to know people in a community. You'll have people spend a lot of time there. And it's not just for the service. You know the people there by name and they've known you for years. To me, I mean, they're everything. Like what would this country be without small businesses? Hi, my name is Monica Slayton. I am the owner of Carlo Mani Hair Care Products and Mani Carlos Hair Creations. I've been a hairstylist for, this is my 26th year, and out of my hair salon, I birthed Carlo Mani Hair Care Products. This crisis has impacted my business tremendously. We went from, I'm gonna say jogging, to just at a standstill. The salon was shut down middle of March. That was my hair clients for me and the other stylists and also the bulk of Carlo Mani hair care product sales. Stopped. <laughs> it's kind of scary because how do you have a safe distance when you service people touching them? Like when somebody is laying back in a shampoo bowl, they're breathing in your face. But how impersonal is it to ask somebody as soon as they walk in this line, wash your hands, put on a mask, can I check your temperature? Like, how do you, I don't know how to properly move forward. And I hope the Ohio State Board of Cosmetology gives us some tools that we can use moving forward. I don't think it'll ever go back to life as usual because you can't, because in the back of your mind, I think for a long time when you hug somebody, when you shake hands with somebody, when somebody is coughing in a room, I think what we went through is, is gonna pop up. So I think things will always, from this point on, be different for us. Me being a hairstylist for so long, I used to think about the day that I wouldn't have to do hair anymore, like retirement from that, not from working, but just from that. And now I feel like I miss my clients. I miss 20 something years of doing this constantly. This is the longest that I've went since I was a teenager without combing someone's hair. So I have a new like appreciation and love for my business, for my clients. I don't think I'll be focused on trying to get out of it because it, when you have something taken away from you, you respect it different when it comes back. I don't think that we'll ever go through anything in our lifetime as hard as this. I pray we don't. I pray we don't.